If you're a fan of horror movies, then this next story is just for you. And this will test your bravery, I promise you. Now, filmmaker Ogo Okwe is set to premiere his long-awaited award-winning horror trailer, a song from the dark, almost two years after its initial release date. He, alongside some of his cast, told me during a Zoom conversation some of the thoughts behind creating that movie. Mom, when's the wedding? Your dad and I, we decided that it would be after the elections. The release date of Ogo Okupe's A Song from the Dark is just around the corner and the conversation around it is all of excitement. Having picked up accolades including an African Movie Academy Award and the Best Director Prize at the American Black African Film Festival, this movie comes highly recommended. You really think some juju from the dead man's village is after us, yeah? Yes, I do believe it. The fantasy horror movie positions to ingrain heroes and heroines of African traditional mysticism with similar audacity as Western films have entrenched the Superman, Wonder Woman and Iron Man. Someone asked me a question like, what is the ideal black superhero, African superhero? And I said, what, what is Superman, right? Superman is a concept of someone coming to save, right? You, this guy was put in a place where he was so out of place, but there were people willing to love him. And then he now found love with them. And now because he has these powers, he's able to, if you strip away the cape and everything and give him chalk marks and the rest, that is a story that we could tell anywhere, right? So likewise, Iron Man, you know, the whole engineering perspective. I say, so what do we have as Africans that is so unique to us? Because Iron Man with the whole is like MIT and all of that is very unique to America. Um, um, Batman is very unique to America. So what is unique to us? Do we have people that can wear metal suits and fly in the air? Not really. Do we have people who are, who are like super cops? You know, with no, not really. You know, so so what we do have is people who have fought for their tribes. People who have fought for their beliefs. You know, my mother, uh, my grandmother. Like I said, she was a spiritualist and she was someone that really championed in the village. Like she, my dad had a lot of accidents. Like I think I think two accidents I remember. Really ghastly accidents when I was growing up, and people were like, "Oh, your grandmother is the one that's protecting her, him, and all that." You know, we all prayed and everything, but you know, you had this thing. So for me, I was like, okay. These are heroes. We have things fall apart. We have a great way decay. We have all these people. If you flip it and put it in Hollywood, you start, you start having different stories. You know, you probably have a gladiator. You probably have all those kind of stories, right? You look at Amadi Oha, then you look at Thor, and, and you look at all these things. So what is it? Why are we afraid to tell our story and then make it cool and edgy and trendy? So... With this story, and once you see the, the story and you see the lead character, the way we cast her, the way we dressed her and everything, you start to realize that what I was trying to do is to bring what we're afraid of to the screen, make it a bit more accessible, um, tone down some elements so that at least we can start having a conversation because it starts like that. Some people will say Harry Potter is all about a bunch of young witches, but then if you show it to any young kid, they wouldn't see it that way. All they see is a kid with glasses that they can relate to, it's probably someone in their school that just points a tiny little one and beautiful colors happen, you know? So it's, you're very correct. It's like a Trojan horse to invite people into our culture. Every fortnight, my father would force me to understand them, except for that one symbol. Uzama. Not that pitch. But you said I should not be afraid of them anymore. A Song in the Dark stars Nollywood's Nse Ikbe Etim and Wale Ojo alongside British Ghanaian actress Vanessa Van Der Poe and many others. Getting these actors on require not just the check of professionalism but also a request for bravery to interpret an unconventional story. In terms of casting process, it was very, um, how do I describe it? It was very tough because like you could tell from the film and the fact that we needed black talent um some people were a bit afraid to take on some roles for obvious reasons you know there's the spiritual element and when you watch the film it, again it's a gray area conversation it's not black or white it's not devil and not it's very gray area but you need to read the script and you need to get ready for that conversation so everyone that took on the roles here they're not only brave but they're very i'd say extremely intelligent and super talented because to go into that world and to come back 
and you know you're trying to start a conversation, it takes a lot of bravery and a lot of intellect and a lot of talented skill. So first of all, that was one of the things I had to look for. People who were ready to engage in that conversation. Obviously, there's talent. Then, you know, if you look at the array of people we have here, our lead character, Garcia de Meiji, all everyone, Sharon, Peace. These are beautiful Black people, especially in set. These are beautiful, beautiful Black people. When I mean beautiful, I'm talking about physically and also in just the aura around them. So it's not easy to find that mix and that mix of talent and that mix of intellect. While Nollywood generally is reliant on comedy and romance, actress Nse Ikpe Etin believes movies like this can have a space in the industry because at the end of the day, it is not totally strange to the Nigerian society. In life generally, because if we say that um, art imitates life or life imitates art, either way you want to put it, there's always happiness, there's joy, there's com um, comedy, there's sorrow, there's horror. In our lives, I bet a lot of us have seen horrific things that we can't even speak about. But um, hiding behind um, a cloak and saying that we laugh all the time is a, is a lie. So we are trying to tell stories that are more in, indigenous to us, more... Um, are more connected to us because we do practice a foreign, a foreign, um, a foreign religion. And that night, he did all time. that he could. This is the last time. Yeah. Ah. 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 British actor. Alex Scrivens draws comparison between the Western portrayal of horror and the interpretation presented by Okukbe, even if the concept of fear is universal. It's given me a different insight into the way that people um, talk about that type of fear. Um, I'm not I'm not used to the Nigerian cinema as a, as a general thing. So I'm used to a kind of a, a different framing of narrative structure. Um, which has a, a different bent, a different, a different, if you a different play out. Um, so it's 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 unusual to be part of a story that's so dramatically driven in this way, um, where the where the fear is very direct and very in your face. I mean, the use of CGI on this is just fantastic. You know, some of the set pieces of of body transformation um, are, are really really chilling and really really brilliant, and they're really exciting to see. Um, and that's kind of very direct, you know, a lot of a lot of the kind of traditional method of of big filmmaking, like The Shining, for example, you mentioned that earlier, is that things are left obscure, things are left untold or unseen. Um, this is very opposite. It's very in your face. A Song in the Dark is inspired by some of the stories Ogo was told as a child whenever he visited the village with his parents and also stars Lola Wayne, Garcia Brown, Peace Oseyenum and Paul Costa, among others. Ah! 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 Ah!